So guys, in this tutorial I'm going to continue on the topic of, of uh, CSRF attacks and uh, in this part I'll show you how you can use posted forms instead of uh, the get. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to exploit this post right here, that posts data to the uh, guest book. And uh, in order to do that I'll set up uh, an intermediate script like and this should uh, this will be I'm, I'm using the same domain to host it but if this was a real attack of course you would have you wouldn't have access to that and you have to like publish it somewhere else and uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm uh, setting the URL for the index page that I'm supposed to be posting to and I set my post variables I'll I just have one called data and I'll set some text to it and then I set the options, which is uh, HTTP, and then a header, the method, which is post, and the content. And I use HTTP build query with the data variable right here. And then I uh, stream the context and I uh, perform the post. And then uh, when that's done, I redirect uh, the user to an image. Uh, like this. Uh, so the procedure is basically the same. I'm going to use the Gmail account again and uh, this time I'm going to um, I'm going to use an anchor tag instead of um, an image tag. Uh, so it's the same procedure, inspect element and I expand it, right click, edit as HTML and then I just put my anchor tag right here. Um, no, that's not it. Mm, let's copy this URL into here. And instead I'm going to call my intermediate attack script. And yes, I do, do know I'm not sure, I think I spelled it wrong. It's called uh, Intermedia, well, whatever. I don't know if it's wrong, but that's, that's the name anyway. Uh, like this, and then I just put some text like this. So that should be it. And as you can see, I get my anchor tag right there. I send it to myself. And uh, here's the email. But before I'm clicking it, let's uh, check how the, this, uh, there's some syntax here, all right. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, now it works. So uh, let's have a look at how this looks. And as you can see, when I just visit the mail, nothing's really happening. But if I click the link, I get redirected to this very awesome image right here. And uh, now when I visit the web page, as you can see, I have a uh, malicious attack being performed in the background. And that's because of the calling to the uh, intermediate attack script right here, because they're visiting here and then they get redirected to the, to the uh, Bill Murray picture. Uh, so how do you protect yourself against it? The procedure is basically the same as in the previous tutorial. So if we have a look at uh, the index page, uh, what I want to do is that I want to create a session variable like this called CSRF post and then I use the unique ID variable again or method I should say and then I create a hidden input that stores that uh, data and it's called CSRF posts and uh, what I want to do is I want to cross check that this variable is the same as this one in the callback right here so uh, right now I'm just passing null to the data so I'm let's pass in the uh, CSRF post variable instead. And then let's have a look in the back end. Uh, it 
ends up right here and you can bar dump them if you want to see how that looks and one important thing to remember here is that you have to check first if you just have to check if one of them is null because I ended up in a situation where everything would pass and I didn't realize why at first but then it turns out that if you post them and they're not set they're null and that means that if both of these are null then they are the same and that's making them pass and well, that's not a good thing so you have to show, check that they're not null first and then you check if they're the same I use screen compare you can use equals or whatever and uh, I like to set the session variable to an empty screen as well because it's not going to be used anymore and uh, it's it's good practice to reset them so let's save this and let's have a look if we can uh, insert some malicious data uh, so let's refresh the page and I'll just delete this one so we know that there shouldn't be any malicious data whatsoever right and then I visit the link again I get to see the awesome picture and if we refresh the page no data is inserted into the page because it's failing in the screen compare so um, right here and oh, actually it's failing right here because uh, CSRF is null and uh, the important thing to remember is that uh, you var dump the variables and check them so they're not the same because you might end up in a situation where both of them are null and if you don't check them that's going to pass as it did with me for the first time and if we have a look at how this form looks right now it's the same thing uh, as with the url but we have a hidden input here instead and if we refresh the page you can see that it changes so it's not the same value twice yeah, but that's basically it, and uh, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next tutorial, bye.